All right, guys, today we are going to lay the coordinates out for our jump peg game and then use this as a pattern to um, glue onto our wood so that way we can cut it out and drill all of our holes in the proper place. So um, what I have for you is just a little chart here. This is what it should look like when it's finished um, with all your points and then what your final drawing should look like. So we are going to start by using our graph paper and drawing this grid right here where it goes from 0 to 18 down the bottom and then 0 to 14 on the top and then I have kinda your coordinates right here using all these numbers where you're gonna put points and draw lines and put some more points for your holes um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by drawing this little coordinate plane where it goes 0 to 14 and 0 to 18 onto our sheet of graph paper. So make sure that you have your graph paper going horizontal here and then go ahead put your name at the top so that way I know whose that is and then kind of down here towards the bottom guys it's not you don't have to be exact I'm just like a, here's the middle right here I'm kind of down here um, towards the bottom part right here we're gonna go ahead and put a small dot anywhere you want down there towards the bottom okay so from this point we're gonna count up so that's our starting point do not count your starting point you're gonna count the first line after that we're gonna count up to 14 so I'm gonna start right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 right there put another dot small dot then take your ruler and connect those two dots with the vertical line right on top of that blue line. Don't draw to the right or the left of it, draw right on top of it. All right, now, gonna go back to my starting point, and this time, I'm gonna count to the right 18 spots here. So I'm right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right there. Then I'm going to connect those two dots on that blue line right there with the horizontal line. I line my ruler up, draw a nice, neat, straight line, connecting those two. All right. Now I want to label my plane here. Okay, so right here in the corner, all right, where my starting point was, I'm going to go one block to the left, and right on top of that blue line, I'm going to put a zero right there. Okay, so I'm right, right on top of the blue line. Then I go up. This will be one, then two, three, all the way up to 14. And then 14 at the top there. Okay, I'm going to go back to my starting point. And I'm going to go down one block. That's going to be zero right there. Then I'm going to number all the way to 18 going this direction. So there's one, eighteen. All right. So my corner is zero, zero. So now what we're gonna do, kind of over here to the side, we're gonna list out these points right here. So that way you know exactly where all of your points go. So I'm just gonna kind of start here at the top. All right, and I have a point. I'm just gonna kind of make this chart right here, zero, zero, and that's point A. So all I do on my sheet right here, I'm just gonna write, 0, comma, 0, and that is point A. Then I go back to the list, and guys, you can leave it on this list. There's a list on Canvas. Okay, I have a point 18, 0, and that is B. So now I'm 18, 0, and that's point B. And then I have 9, 14, that's point C, 9, 
line 14 uh, is point C. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and mark these points on my graph. So right here, 0, 0. That would be 0, 0 right here. So this is A right there. So I just put an A right there in the corner. I have a dot right there. Then I have 18, 0. So guys, this, this first number, that is your X, that is your Y. So X goes right and left, Y goes up and down. So right here, I'm going to go over to 18, right there. And my second point is 0, so I stay right there. That's point B. And now I go over 9. There's 9 up to 14. Here's 14 and 9. That should be right in the center. That is point C. So I have my three points, and then it tells me to connect AB, then BC, and then it should be AC there. All right, so I connect A, B, I connect A, C, then I connect B, C. All right, so essentially all I'm doing is drawing a triangle here. All right, so I want to connect A, B, which it's already connected right there. Then I want to connect A, C. So now I'm going to take my ruler. Line it up with these two points. Connect it there. And then I want to connect BC. So now I have my triangle there, which will be the outside of my pattern. Just like that. Okay. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and finish copying these points onto your sheet right here, which is what I'm going to do. That'll be for all of our um, drill press holes. So I'm just going to leave it right there and I'm going to write on my paper exactly like the chart is. So I have the remainder of my points to lay out. So I have 3, 2, and 6, 2, 12, 2, 15, 2, four and a half, four and a half, seven and a half, four and a half, ten and a half, four and a half, thirteen and a half, four and a half, six, seven, nine, 7, 12, 7, 7 and a half, 9 and a half, 10 and a half, 9 and a half, and then 9, 12. All right, so all I did was copy the remaining points onto my sheet right here. Now what I want to do is start laying out these spots right here, these dots, for the holes that we're going to drill out with the drill press. My first point is 3, 2. All right, remember, this is to the right and left, so over, and that one's up and down. So I'm going to go over to 3, then up to 2. And I have a point right there. All right, there's that one. Then I go 6, 2. So I'm over to 6, up to 2, there, 12, 2, and I skipped one from my chart right here. I skipped 9, 2, so I need to add 9, comma, 2 in there. All right, so I'm at 9, 2, there's that one. 
And that one. And then 15, 2. All right, so if you look, your dots are right on the intersection. All those should be in a line, evenly spaced right there. All right, now my next one, we're going four and a half, so that'll be a half block. All right, so I'm going to four and then a half. Should be right in the center between four and five right there. Then I go up four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half. You will be right in the center of that square right there. And it should be in the middle, like these should form a triangle right here. Okay, so it should be in the exact center of those right in the middle of that block. There's four and a half, four and a half, seven and a half. So there's seven halfway up to four and a half, middle of the block. Should be right in a row. Ten and a half, four and a half, right there. Thirteen and a half. Four and a half, right there. And now I'm on to six, comma, seven. So here's six, up to seven, right there. And again, it should form a triangle. It should be right in the center. Nine, seven. I'm right in a row there. And then 12, seven, right there. Okay, now I go back to my halves. All right, so I have seven and a half, nine and a half. So I'm seven and a half up to nine. Nine and a half right in the center of that box. Again, I have my triangle right there. Then I'm at ten and a half, nine and a half. So there's ten and a half up to nine and a half right in the center of the box. Then nine, twelve, which is right there in the middle. All right, so that is all the points for our jump peg game and the outside pattern, okay? Please fold this, hang on to this, do not lose this. Take a picture of the whole thing, make sure I can see your name, and turn that in on Canvas for the assignment.